And Greer testimony resumes today in the trial of the three men accused of killing Ahmad Arbery. One of the first people on the witness stand was the man who examined Arbery's body after he was shot. Our Haley Mason has been live inside the Glen County Jail or courthouse. She's joining us now with what the GBI and the medical examiner is telling the jury today. Haley. Good afternoon, Karen. Right now we are hearing some very graphic, extremely graphic testimony from the forensic examiner who examined Ahmad Arbery's body and did the autopsy. He is testifying now questions uh, coming from the defense. I do want to make a note uh, about one motion that Kevin Goff said he would file. He has officially filed his motion to block black pastors and civil rights leaders from sitting inside the courtroom. We'll take a look behind me. Reverend Jesse Jackson will was one of the leaders that he took issue with. He's sitting on the front courthouse steps with Ahmaud Arbery's dad right now. Um, it looks like they might be doing an interview on their phones, but nonetheless, Kevin Goff said he wants to prevent uh, any behavior that would intimidate or influence jurors, and that's why he has filed that motion. I uh, just wanted to make that note there. The judge has not ruled on it. But uh, moving forward, we know that the medical examiner is the witness of the day right now. We can't show you a lot of those those very graphic photos coming from the autopsy. But what we can show you is this. This is the bloodstained shirt uh, after a Marbury, Ahmad Arbery was shot. These are the pellets that pierce through that shirt and his shoulder and torso. The medical examiner named Dr. Edmund Donahue uh, has been a forensic pathologist for many decades, and he testified about his examination of Arbery's body, the autopsy and the evidence. He testified there was nothing that could have been done at the scene to save Ahmad Arbery's life because his injuries were just so bad. Here he explains how those three shots fired by Travis McMichael impacted Arbery. It was my opinion that the shot to the center of the chest and the grazing gunshot wound to the wrist occurred at the same time, meaning that the hand was in front of the chest and was struck first and then uh, it entered the body. It was my opinion that the second shot was a complete miss and did not enter any part of the body and that the third shot involved the left chest and axilla. And it's interesting to note here that Arbery's parents are outside of the courtroom because this is very graphic testimony and very graphic images showing Arbery um, after death, after being shot. And so we will be very cautious on what we show and what we broadcast on our stream as well. I want to note that the uh, medical examiner noted that Arbery had nothing in his possession, no cell phone quote, no wallet, no weapon. We'll bring you more updates this afternoon. Reporting live outside the Glen County Courthouse, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News. All right, Haley, a lot of activity behind you there. Thank you so much.